guys, what is up? I'm honestly to you back here with another video. And as you can see in front of me, I have my Lego Ninjago mock and minifigures included. Um, so as you can tell, we're going to be doing a minifigure, well not minifigure, but a Lego Ninjago review. So let's get straight into the video. Alright guys, so as you can see right here, you can see a bunch of different minifigures. ranging from Kai, Cole, Neo. Clyde, Hope, Jay, Zane, Pixel, Zane Jr., Lloyd, Ham, that guy, Misaka or Coco, Sensei Wu, that guy, I forgot his name, um, oh, I'll try to remember that, and um, also the Sushi guy, and obviously the Mock, and some of the Lego Ninjago's actual sets, so let's get straight into this. So we are going to start off with the mock, so I'm going to clear all these minifigures. There you go guys, out of the room, the mock view. I'll get to that. Let's start off with, actually let's start off with this. So as you can see we have the Tuk Tuk, um, it is a Jap a Japan or Tokyo police car and that's this guy's car um, there is a bad guy in this which is this guy um, he's also included in this mock um, but yeah it's a nice little build you get in the Lugan and Jogger city set which is that it includes this that this and this obviously which is it looks really cool it rolls as well Perfectly, but yeah, it's just a nice small build. Moving on to the mock itself, because we have we have to do I kind of not rush this, but make it go a bit quick. We have so many minifigures, and um, yeah. Here we have I've split this up to two, three different sections. Um, we have the city itself here. We have the forest here. And then we have the dojo. There, so we're gonna start down at the Lego Ninjago city itself. So here you have the Lego Ninjago city. All I did was just add a great base plate and connected some bits to it to make it all. This is what it looked like from this angle going down. And this is the Lego Ninjago city. Um, we have the Lego Ninja City set with the, the lamp piece and the thing, and that's really it. Moving on to the forest. Now the forest here has three different trees with different leaves on it. And it's just a nice bland open place which is where people, it's mostly like a park, it's where people can chill and relax. Moving on to the dojo, the more exciting part of this mock. It's just the dojo mini fit set. We've got the this the sword holder, which I actually take out the swords and put it on one of my minifigures. Um, this bit, which I can't find the head bit to. We have the spinny thing, and then we have a corner of the dojo, which is supposed to be that bit, which looks really good. And then some just more of this nice detail with the rooms, as you can see. Now I want to move them up to the background and get on with our minifigures. So our first ninja is actually going to be Lloyd because he is the leader of the ninja. This is what he looks like. I don't have him in his minifigure, like in his actual minifigure form. But I do have him. So basically it's just the old green ninja body with the... New Green Ninja's sword, um, the sword and the tassel and head, which is also double sided with his hairpiece, as you can see. Um, but yeah, that's it's not really much to explain about this ninja, apart from that, he's my, one of my favorite ninjas in the smoke. Moving on to Jay, he's the most simple one, he's got the new Lego Ninjago sword holders with the skybound body and just some blue legs 
with his hair and headpiece. Um, doesn't have his mask because I don't have one. Um, because I used because I mostly use them for other custom minifigs. Um, or I sell them because Jay is a some people really need blue hoods. So ninja hoods. So yeah, that's Jay. Um, moving on to let's go to Zane. Moving on to Zane. This is just Zane in the minifig series packet you can get. I like this version of Zane. It's okay, but let's just transform this guy. There we go. We have transformed the ninja Zane. This is probably my this is my actually second version of Zane in his ninja outfit that is actually fully contact with all the pieces exactly. And this just looks really good. I'm so glad I got him. Um, I did miss out on any other sets, but I just really needed him. And I needed, I didn't really need a Kai, but I really wanted the new version. And I needed a Zane. But, yeah, so here's Zane. Moving on, let's, as soon as I mentioned him, moving on to Kai. We have two versions of him. We have him without his ninja so, Ninja hood on and his sword holder. Um, he has double sided face, um, just like the ninja Zane. He does have one. I'm not gonna take the mask off though, cause it's actually pretty. It's it's pretty long, and basically his ninja face, his uh, double sided face was just that. Um, but that's the Kai. I'm not gonna show too much of the other Kai apart from his mask, just to know this two different Kais. As you can see. So this is Ninja Kai. I really like Ninja Kai because it looks, looks really good. Um, I did actually make a costume with him using the black and red Ninja Origins Lego Ninja series ones, but I'm using that for a different minifig, um, and we'll see who that is later in the video three. So that's Kai. Moving on to oh. Also, to mention with Lloyd, he does have his golden ninja. I made it more accurate by adding the Cartoon Network Lloyd face on to make it more accurate. And yeah, sorry I missed out that. Moving on to Pix, actually, no, not Pixel, Neo. Here we have the Lego Ninjago Neo from the Lego Ninjago City set, Lego Ninjago Movie City set. And she just has a nice smiley face and an angry face as well. Which looks really cool. So yeah. We have her in a custom ninja outfit that I made for her. It's basically just Kai's um, dark and red mask. Um, Jay's blue body. Kai's red legs and arms and hands. And then golden swords. With a golden sword holder. I think it looks really good. I like this face because it represents me as angry face. But just without the dot. Um, but yeah it looks really good. Moving on to Cole, one of our actual Lego Ninja Ninjas. Um, we have him with his hair as well. Um, he has a double sided, his double sided face with his smiley face and his angry face. Here's what he looks like with his hair on. Looks really good. To put that down. Next we have Pixel, my custom Pixel, um, here, this is Pixel, so I think this looks really good for my custom minifigure, it has Zane's body, assuming they're dead to it, are dating, um, and yeah, it's just, it's just what Pixel looks like. Now we have Zane Jr, which is, this is my first Zane, I lost his mask. But this is my first Zane, and I'm using this as Zane Jr. But Pixel and Zane had a child or made a child. See, because it's robot, it's a robot, and yeah, that's just a Zane Jr. In my Lego series, Nia's dating one of the newer ninjas, and so is Cole, which I'll and yeah, so instead of Jay and Nia, but here we have one of our newer ninjas that I was talking about, and with his hair piece. His name is Clyde and he has a sister in this series. He does have a double sided face. Which is that. I decided to use Kai's one for this because I had an extra Kai body um, from the actual Lego Ninjago movie, Lego Ninjago series line. So I decided to use that. 
because I like it actually looks good. Moving on to his sister Hope, who calls dating. Um, this is what it looks like. It's the old Lego Ninjago thing with Magpie's body, um, a desert sword warrior's legs, and just a nice girl face with a sword holder. And this ninja outfit looks. It actually looks really, really cool. And I like the way I like the way that it turned out. So yeah, that is Clyde's sister. Moving on to Coco or Misako. This is the new one. She does not have a double-sided face like most of these many figures. But yeah, that's Coco. She has a handbag, and this she plays Lloyd's mom. Moving on to Sensei Wu. In the main figure packets, it comes with a cornflake box, but I decided to add a staff, and it just looks makes the main figure look even more like a sensei Wu, sensei Wu. And this is actually my first sensei Wu as well, so I'm so glad I got him. Moving on to the set minifigures, we have Ham, who works in the shop, and that's just his expression on his face in the set. Um, yeah, he's just a simple guy, he has £100. And his clothes are a bit dirty, don't know if that showed up on camera, and it's just, it looks like a really, just a really good Lego Ninjago minifigure overall. Ooh. Moving on to the police officer, I forgot what his name was, um, but this is the police officer who drives the Tok Tok, and yeah, that's him. He has, he, I don't think he has a double sided face, no he doesn't, but he just plays a really good role. You're hardly going to see him though. Moving on to an army fish army member and this guy just wants to get him some fish for the team um, I like the sand blue color of the fish but I but I prefer the um the other the normal fish because we had them for so long but yeah that's the fish army hammer guy next we have this guitar guy bongo and something guy I'm going guitar guy, I think, but he's gonna play as one of the villains in my Lego Ninjago series, so look out for him. And if you do spot him, because he's gonna be red spot, if you do spot him in episodes where he's not in, then you will get a shout out in my next video. Here we have the sushi guy, and he just has a soda can or a can. And that's him. He just has the new headpiece. He doesn't have a double-sided face. Because I don't know how you would cover that with this headpiece. But, yeah. And we also have the Tok Tok. But that is it for this Lego Ninjago review. I hope you guys did like this review. If you did, please like, subscribe. And I'm just going to give you a final review on all the many figures here. So we have Lloyd to Jay. To Zane Kai's. to all these other minifigures and of course the Lego Ninjago mock itself and also the Tok Tok. So I hope you guys like this mock review and if you did please like, subscribe, stand back, like, subscribe and I'll see you lot in the next one. Goodbye.